uh, in this takeoff, we'll be measuring the reinforcement for the beams. Uh, we have the plan here, the, the plan and the section. Uh, the way we can see the beam, from center to center, its length is 2600. We are told that we shall use stirrups or the rings shall be made of R6 and they shall be 150 millimeters center to center. We are told that this reinforcement here at the top, it's 2T12, that's its name. Then this one at the bottom, it's 2T18. The, wind, the measurement of this column is 125 by 125 column. The ground beam has, you know, this one, it's a ground beam, the beam that we are talking about. The concrete cover is 25 millimeters. Then we are told that the cross-section of the beam, the width of the beam is 125 millimeters. Then the depth of the beam is 375 millimeters. Now, we want to measure the reinforcements that shall be used in this beam. Uh, first of all, as you can see in the cross-section here, we shall be having reinforcement here, 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 and here. And they shall be running like this. The reason you can see them like this is because we are seeing them from here. Alright, so uh, that we shall have one, two, they shall be two. Here it's one and another one the other side. So here, here, here. You see, we have two of these, two of these, then they are tied together by rings. Here we have a star up, another one after 150 millimeters, another one, another one after 150 millimeters after that way until we get here. Okay, so uh, how do we measure for these reinforcements? First of all, we need to measure these longer ones. We know what is the length of each of those four reinforcements. We shall start with these 2T12, the two of them. What will be the total length of those uh, reinforcement bars? So they shall be from here to here. Then we add the bend. Then we add the bend. But if you can see from our diagram here, we are given from center to center, it's 2600. And these uh, reinforcement bars are going past the center. So how do we calculate for their length? We are told that the concrete uh, in the column, the column measurement is 125 by 125. So if it is 125 by 125, meaning from the center here to the end is 125 divided by 2. If we can take the dimensions from center to center, which is 2600, then we add a half of 125, a half of, a half of 125, we can get the total length that was to be for the beam. When we get the total length, we shall deduct the cover of concrete here and the cover of concrete to get the length from here to here. Then we shall add the bend two times. Then we shall have got the total length of reinforcement. Remember, when we are calculating the length of this bend, we usually calculate it with the formula 5.5D. So let's go to the uh, taking off. Uh, for the taking off, you see, uh, this is the reinforcement bar that we are talking about, 2T12. The length of that bar is 2.6. Then we want to add... Uh, what is remaining halves the halves that are remaining in the column so that we get the total length of the beam from end to end When we ha add a half of 125 both sides, it shall be 0 0.125 plus 2.60 So the length of the beam from end to end is 2.725 Then we deduct the cover. The cover is for 25 millimeters. When we multiply 25 millimeters times 2, it's 50 millimeters. So 2.7525 deduct uh, 50 millimeters, we shall get 2.675. That is the length of the reinforcement bar, which is straight. Then we add the bend. The bend is 5.5D, and there are two bends. So it shall be 2 times 5.5 times diameter. The diameter is, uh, you see, uh, we are so told it's 2T12. All right, so T12 is the size of the reinforcement bar. So the diameter of that reinforcement bar is 12 millimeters. So uh, to get the size of the bend, it's 5.5 D. D is 12 millimeters. 
So 2 times 5.5 times 0 0.012, we shall get the length of the bends of the two sides. So we should, when we add the 2, we shall get 2.807. That is the total length of that reinforcement bar. So say 2.80. So while you're booking it, it shall be 6 units because we had been told uh, we are talking about 6 units of beams. So here we shall be taking off six beams, all right? So we shall be taking off six beams. So it shall be six beams. Two, two, because we are told uh, this reinforcement bar at the top, they are two, two, T12, all right? Six times two, one reinforcement bar is 2.80. So the total length of the T12 bar is 33.60. We go to the other one which is now the bottom one, all right? It's called uh, T18, and there are two in number. What will be the length of that reinforcement bar? So the length from center to center is 2.60. We add what is remaining in the column so that we can get the length of the beam from end to end. So it shall be 0 0.125, because we will have taken a half of 125 times 2. So we have measured this one from end to end. Now, to get the length of the reinforcement bar, we have to deduct the cover, the cover of the concrete. We have been told the concrete cover, the measurement is 25 millimeters. So, 25 millimeters in meters, it's 25 divided by 1,000 times 2. So, the covers, it's 50 millimeters. So, if we take this one minus this one, we shall get the total length of the reinforcement bar where it's straight. Then we add the bend. The band, to get the size of the band, is 5.5D on either side. So, 5.5 times diameter, you see this one is T18, alright? Because from the plan, we can see this one is T18, meaning the diameter of this uh, reinforcement bar is 18. So, uh, to get the size of the band, we shall take 5.5 times diameter, 18 millimeters, and there are two. So, we shall get 0 0.19. Eight. So if you take this plus this, you get 2.873. So say 2.87. So they are 6 units, 2 reinforcement bars. Each reinforcement bar is 2.87. And the total we get 34.48. These are T. Uh, 34.48 meters. These are T18. Not T12. Here there is a mistake. T18. So we go to the stirrups. The stirrups are the ones that will be tying the reinforcement bars together. Uh -huh. As you can see here, these are the stirrups, the rings. They start from here to here. So we need to know how many they will be having a spacing of 150. Then what is the length of one stirrup so that you can get the total length of the stirrups. So uh, the, uh, for the stirrups, we can see uh, this one is 125. You know the size of the beam, eh? Uh, it's 125. Then the depth is 375. Remember the stirrups will be inside the beam. They should not touch the outside. It is surrounded by a concrete cover because we should not be able to see the reinforcement when it is inside the beam. So how do we calculate the length of the stirrup? Uh, the length is 0 0.375. We shall deduct the cover. A cover of 25 down here, 25 up there. So we shall deduct 50 millimeters. We get 0 0.325. For the width, this way, its width, it is 125. We deduct uh, 25, we deduct 25. We get the width as uh, 0 0.075. So how do we get the, um, the perimeter of all going round? We shall take the length. Mm -hmm. Then we shall take uh, the width, then we shall add, then we shall multiply by 2. Alright? So this one plus this one, we shall get 0 0.4. Then we multiply by 2 to get the total perimeter round. Then we need to add the anchorage. You see, a star wrap usually have where it overlaps. Uh, things like this. This one is the one that we call the anchorage. To get the length of this length that is overlapping here, that anchorage is 24D for 1. So, 
uh, to get uh, the, the length of that one, we shall take 24 times uh, the, the thickness. It's what, what, for one, one is 12D, the other one 12D, so the total is 24D. So uh, to get uh, the total length of that uh, anchorage, uh -huh, we take 24 times the diameter 0 0.006 because it's 6 millimeters. So we shall give an extension of 0 0.144. So we shall take 0 0.8 plus 0 0.144, we get 0 0.944. So the total length, say it's 0 0.94 if you round off. So, how many number of stirrups do we need? The total length from center to center is 2600. The column, a column is 125 millimeters. So, we need to know where the stirrups start and where the stirrups end. You see, uh, the stirrups do not start at the end here. They start where the column ends, around here, and where the column ends. So, they are distributed here we, we cannot tie a stirrup inside the column it's only inside the beam where there is no column these ones the loops are the one which enter into the column so from here to here it's where we we distributing our stirrups so we shall take 2600 then we shall take a half of 125 we deduct a half of 125 we deduct so it shall be uh, 2600 then we deduct a half of 25 times 2. It's 125. So 2600, we deduct 125. We shall remain with 24 to 47. This one. This one in, in meters, deduct this one in meters, we get 2.75. So uh, this one is where we shall distribute the star wraps. And they have a spacing of 150. So we shall take 2475 divided by 150. Then we add 1. We get 17.5. Five, say 18 so this one shall be 6 millimeters diameter ms star wraps so it shall be 6 units times 18 star wraps one star wrap the length is 0 0.94 so we shall get the total length is 101.52 so the total length shall be 101.52 mr6 spacing of 150 and thus we are done with the reinforcement in the beams